Hi guys, this is Dom from Stark Gaming and Collectibles channel and we are back after a long hiatus due to the pandemic and uh, being that there is no physical event like conventions, tournament or um, any like like game events or cosplay events but we are back for this video we will be doing uh, a new series of video featuring the new one piece trading card game so hopefully you enjoy the content and for this video we will do a mono red luffy deck versus the mono green kid deck again enjoy guys so it's his first turn so he just passed so it's my turn now for luffy so i use pay one don uh, and then i use Saubodi, and i'll be uh, drawing five cards and searching for uh, a one card with a straw hat um, name tag on it. So I chose the five rush Luffy and I pay one Don and I put the blocker chopper. So it's kids turn now. So he paid two. Nakamamushi rests my chopper blocker and he attached one dawn for 6k on kid and then swing at my leader Luffy. So I only have four lives now. Okay, so we reset the dawn. I actually thought that he is gonna be swinging for my blocker chopper, but he actually attacked the leader. So now I'm down four lives to five. So I have four dawn. There you go. So I pay one dawn and I use Nami from the starter deck one. And then I chose a uh, gum gum jet pistol. It's a good uh, destruction event that, that can destroy any character with 6,000 card or less. I used the Luffy effect, attach one rest of Dawn and then attach one Dawn and swing for 7k. And then I paid two for the Bartholomew uh, blocker. So it's kid's turn now. So we both have four lives now. Since we are mono color leaders, we both have or we start at five lives. So now Kid has uh, five dawn. So he's just checking and making sure about the dawn management for this turn. So he paid 5 and used the law blocker uh, which allows him to summon a uh, uh, 3 cost or lower and he summoned Nekomomushi and actually rests my blocker Bartholomew and now he is thinking uh, who uh, to attack with his kid leader so he chose to attack Bartholomew which I will be defending with my blocker chopper because again Barto is a more bigger body and you can actually make him uh, 5,000 with two rested on so now it's gonna be my turn So I'm just thinking about my Dawn management so I have six available Dawn for this turn So we'll be paying two for another Bartholomew blocker. So we have two blockers as of the moment. So we basically replace the chopper. And then I attach one rested on using my Luffy leader's effect. And then I attach two Don. And then I'm gonna be swinging for 8,000. Because I was thinking that if Kid would block using the Law blocker since it's 6k they need to have like 3k to basically not get destroyed and then I attach my two remaining dawn 
on uh, Bartholomew so that uh, next turn it's gonna be a 5k blocker and you would actually need just uh, a little bit more counter so that it can survive a 5k swing so by the way uh, I have four lives now and kid has three lives because he actually took uh, the sick the 8k swing from my Luffy leader So again, um, Kid is just making sure about the Dawn computation because that's the most important thing on this game is to make sure that you have enough Dawn management and Dawn uh, like allocation for your turn because one mishap with uh, your Dawn calculation can easily cost you the game. So he paid two for Nekomamushi again and he actually rested my 5k Bartholomew. Which is actually unfortunate because I was planning on using him as my designated blocker for this turn. But we still have uh, another Barto if ever he would be swinging for my Bartholomew blocker. So Kid still has uh, five more Dawn, so he attached two Dawn, and then he is gonna be swinging for 7k. And I will be defending it using my uh, unrested Bartholomew blocker. And now he's going to be swinging 6k with the blocker uh, law to my 5k Bartholomew that is rested which I use a 2k counter with my Usopp. So that means it's 7k for versus 6k so he actually survived this turn and he's going to be attaching uh, 2 Dawn on Nekomamushi and he's going to be attacking my leader for 5k. So I took the damage, so we're now down to 3, 3 lives both of us, so that ends his turn, he actually has one more energy and he played the Capone Mage, which is the very efficient 1 cost blocker for green. So he actually has a strong board presence. Uh, with those two blocker and with uh, the blocker law having a, a big body of 6k and then he also has two nekomamushi which can threaten to attack my leader just by adding two dons so i actually attach one don to nami which gives it 3000 and then i attack one of the rested nekomamushi which has three 3,000 so we just uh, let it go so again I'm making sure about my dawn management for this turn so I swing for 5k with my Luffy leader and he actually blocked it with his uh, Capone Beige so I paid one and I actually use Otama and then minus 2k for the law which brings it down to 2000 and I attach uh, I played the rush Shanji sorry uh, the rush Zoro and then attach to Don which gives it 7k and then I attack law which is down to 4k and then I paid 
to Dawn for another Bartholomew blocker. So we were able to a bit clear out a kid's board and we were able to put down an additional blocker. So we're a bit safe for this turn with two blockers uh, even though we have most of our attackers rested. And here we go. He used Nekomomushi to attack Nami, which we're gonna be letting go. Basically, we're gonna be focusing now on staying healthy and trying to keep Zoro uh, alive so that we can use him for uh, the next few turns if we can swing for kids like. And his uh, kid is just making sure about Dawn management, so he's gonna be attaching too. And then he's gonna be uh, swinging uh, at Sorrow, which I will be blocking for uh, the, the Bartholomew. And then he actually um, played the 7 cost blocker kid, which is a big body. The, the, the good thing with that 7 cost kid is um, rested after the end of your turn, uh, he can actually untap. So that's a very good effect. And then I use actually my the, the perfect or the, the well known Otama pistol combo, which is uh, pay 1 minus 2k. So that brings it down to 5000, and that's gonna be within range for the gum gum jet pistol for cost destroy a 6000 or less uh, attack character so we were able to deal with the kid now i attach to dawn to Zoro and then we swing for 7k which he took so now we're a bit ahead with uh, 3 lives versus 2 and then I attach 1 rested using the Luffy effect and then the remaining 3 and swing for 9 and he actually took the damage so now we are a bit ahead 3 lives versus 1 But again, uh, you have to be very aware when it comes to uh, the kid leader because he does have the effect wherein he can actually swing uh, again uh, by just by paying 3 and discarding 1 card. So now he attach 1, Don uh, and swing for 6k at my Zoro or the Rush Zoro. Which I'm actually thinking if I'm gonna be defending. Yeah, so I did defend it with my uh, Bartholomew, and he actually played the eight cost blocker, or sorry, the eight cost kid, and then attach one Dawn, which uh, gives him the effect that you can only attack him um, and not attack like any character or even the leader so that's actually a good effect and one of the if not the boss monster for uh, the green mono deck but we actually the, the good thing with playing red mono red or any red deck is that you actually have a perfect counter for it and uh, for this one I don't have the counter so I just attach my tendon <laughs> And to my Rush Sorrow giving it um, 15,000 and then I did swing at um, 
kid, which I was a bit surprised with the pause because uh, I was thinking if he can actually overcome 15k, <laughs> so that's gonna be a lot of counters or hand counters. So I was um, actually afraid a bit during that turn, and then it goes back to his turn. He swing for 5k at my leader Luffy. And then he has one more um, kid, a cost kid, and then he did the same effect, which is attaching one dawn. And actually, a cost kid has an additional effect wherein you can actually rest him, and he, he can actually summon a three cost or less character, which he did use by a summoning uh, the blocker Capone and then I actually have the perfect combo which is the Otama minus 2k and then Jet Pistol which is the best way of removing the 8 cost skin so again that's actually the, the cleanest way and then I use uh, the Abli Jambe so that it's going to be unblockable and then I use Luffy's effect. I attach the one that I use, so and then I attach four, and I have ten. And but the the thing is, he actually has uh, enough hand counters to counter me. And then I attack with Zoro, and then he block it with Capone Village. And now it's gonna be switching over to him. So now I'm a bit. Uh, undefended because I don't have any hand counter during this turn and I don't have any defender also during this turn because I actually swung for game last turn hoping that he would not have enough hand counter but unfortunately he did so we're in a bit of a precarious situation so he actually attached 5 dawn and swing for 10k uh, on my Luffy leader, he used Kid's effect and he attacked again for 5k. Which, uh, very fortunately enough, we drawn the Sanji. He attached two Don to Nakabamushi and we blocked it with uh, Sanji. So, if we did not uh, draw Sanji, he would have had game and we'd have lost. But fortunately, we have Sanji.